on folks Rob with Oddball RV here in the uh, Oddball uh, workshop here and uh, we're continuing our rebuild project on the uh, FL350 so um, last video I put together a little tool to um, get the clips these little uh, metal clips inside of the uh, piston here kind of hard to see but uh, this is what we came up with, and it's just a, a teased, uh, tool to make it easier to get the little clips in. And uh, here, here's a clip here. So these go inside, and they're they're really hard to to press in. My fingers can't really do it. So, anyways, that was what we did in the last video, and uh, now the the next step is going to be to uh, drill the oiling holes on the piston. And uh, this is to uh, keep the exhaust bridge uh, cool. It's recommended if you look here in the, I got the Wiseco instructions. This is the uh, lubrication uh, holes here. This is what we're gonna work on. So to do that, we gotta put the piston into the machine, and then we gotta put the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the piston into the machine, and then we also gotta put uh, the cylinder that's been uh, refinished by uh, CW Racing back to the machine and then uh, what we can do is we can locate where on the piston the oiling holes actually have to go. So that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, sit tight, relax, and enjoy as uh, I go through this process and learn it myself for the first time. Alright, so the, uh, the first step that we got to do is we need to put the, um, the piston back on the, um, the crank arm here. Um, I've already replaced this uh, needle bearing here, and um, so this part should be relatively easy. Uh, one little tip is if your shop is cold, your piston might be a little um, 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 tight to get the, uh, heck, I don't even know what this is called, I'll have to look this up, uh, but to get this uh, sleeve in, and so just warm your piston up a little bit, and uh, it should slide right in uh, fairly easy, just like that. If this is cold, this will be really tight. So uh, the arrow on the piston, uh, I believe, goes to the exhaust port. So what we're going to do is just slide this in. You know, one thing I think we'll do as I'm working on this, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to this sleeve here. That'll just help it to slide just a little, a little better. This is just a regular two-stroke oil, uh, the type that I would run in the machine. Just give it a little bit of pre lubrication. I wasn't originally going to do this at this stage yet because this is all going to come out. Because again, I have to drill the hole. Uh, but just to make this a little easier to get in, we're going to go ahead and do it. Anyways. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's what we want. So now the next thing that we got to do is we need to stick the piston in. I'm sorry, the cylinder. And uh, this is going to be a little hard. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to film this. Uh, well, I'll be able to film it, but uh, I might be struggling with this quite a bit. Um, I did already clean up all these surfaces um, as much as possible. I'm not going to put the, um, the gasket on it just yet. Um, <clears throat> just because I don't want to screw up the gasket or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put the cylinder on and then we have to mark here um, where this exhaust bridge um, connects in order to figure out where we got to put our oiling um, holes. So uh, I'm going to get the cylinder and uh, give it a go. We'll see what happens. All right, so I got my, uh, my cylinder here and again, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, two-stroke oil, dab it on my finger, and just work this around on the cylinder. Just get a little bit of uh, pre-lubrication so it doesn't, um, it's not tight or anything on it. Don't want to scratch any surfaces up, anything like that. This is uh, this project is probably better done with uh, two people. It's going to be a little hard to hold the cylinder one-handed and uh, 
get it slid on here. We'll see how I can do. So, get a little bit of oil on the piston as well, just to make sure we got our, all of our bases covered. Put that in there. Okay. that in. Move this over here. So that should be about what we need there. Now, the trick is going to be holding this and setting it down. I've never done this before, so you're going to benefit from seeing me probably screwed up a couple of times here. It is heavy, it is awkward. So, I'm just going to slide that in. easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so uh, the next thing is we're going to do is we're going to lower the piston uh, down. I got to read the instructions a little bit, so I'm going to cut the video here. But I believe we're going to lower the piston and then we're going to mark in the exhaust port. I'm going to have to take uh, my uh, pipe off here so that I can actually see down there. So I'll take a couple of uh, Take a quick break, get all that stuff set up, and then we'll come back and show you what we're doing. All right, so uh, the next step is we have to get the piston um, in place. Uh, the instructions here from Wisco uh, says, slowly turn the engine over until the bottom ring groove is at the bottom of the exhaust bridge. So I'm gonna set this camera up and I'm gonna start rotating the piston and hopefully we'll be able to see that nice and clearly. So. Here we go. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is we're gonna lower this piston down to where we can see the uh, ring grooves. So we're gonna come up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so we got two ring grooves, we can see that. And we gotta take the bottom ring groove to the top, so it looks like it's got to come up maybe about half an inch there. Take a look. I think just a little bit further, maybe a... I think right there ought to do it. Yep. All right. So I'm going to stop the camera here so I can get a pin and mark it. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to mark on this piston these lines here. So we're going to reach in, I'm just got a sharpie here. Just need to mark that right there. That way, we know where our holes are supposed to go. Okay, now that we have our uh, lines drawn on our piston, now we got to remove uh, the cylinder again. So we're just going to gently pull this back up, and uh, everything should come out nice and easy. So we're just going to lift. Pull that over. Okay. All right. Go ahead and set this to the side. Now we're going to pull our pin out. Assuming it comes out easily enough. Again, it's a little hard. It's a little 
a little tight. Plus I oiled it. Just gonna make it a little harder. A little paper towel here should help. Get a grip on it. Okay. There we go. Now we have our holes. Or our lines that we're gonna drill our hole on. Now the instructions say to remove the cylinder and piston and drill two holes. 0 0.060 to 0 0.090 uh, inches in diameter, 0.375 inches apart, starting 0.300 inches below the bottom ring and between the pencil lines. So I'm going to get this set up on the workbench and uh, we'll show you guys uh, what I think they're saying with these instructions. All right, so we're set up on the workbench here, and uh, here's the instructions that we're following. Uh, this, these come with the Wiseco piston instructions. So we're on uh, this step here, remove the cylinder and piston and drill two holes, 0 0.060 to 0 0.090 diameter, 0.375 inches apart, starting 0.300 inches below the bottom ring in between the pencil lines that we drew. All right, so here's our, our lines. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Since we put oil on this, it's gonna pick up debris and everything else. Why put the paper on the workbench because the workbench isn't super clean. We just want to make sure we don't get any grime or anything sticking to our piston. So here's our here's our two lines drawn right there. So the first line that we got to mark, and I'm gonna to have to pick up a, a pin here. Okay, so the first uh, line that we got to draw is the 0.300 um, inches um, or 300 thou, I guess, below the bottom ring. So I got a set of calipers here. We're gonna zero these, make sure they're zeroed. And we're just gonna come over to point three or three hundred thou. Right there. Doesn't have to be precise, but take it right there, and then we're gonna just tighten this down so it doesn't move around. Okay, so this will be our first line, and we need to do that below um, the bottom ring. So we're going to rotate this, so it's going to be right here, naturally not having a uh, way to hold this. All right, I think that did it, that marked it. So now I'm going to take my punch, and the punch uh, helps us to be able to drill into this. So we're going to center this punch right there. Okay, there's our first hole. It's relatively close. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, and then the next hole is going to be uh, 375. Like that. And this is saying we're going to drill these two holes 0.375 inches apart. So we're going to stick this right in here. And we're going to just mark that hole there. Looks relatively good. Okay, there's the tools. So now we're gonna get this all set up on the drill press to try and uh, drill it, and uh, then we'll put it back in and we can move on. All right, so I got my uh, drill press cleaned up here and uh, got a 0.090 inch uh, bit on. 
I'm going to put this down. Very important that you clean everything, especially if you got a lot of metal and everything hanging around. I'm just going to lower this down so it seats. Make sure it's straight. Okay, then we're going to use this and get this positioned for our first hole. Make sure it's in the center. Looks pretty good right there. we got to wipe all this down when we're done. We're going to find the next hole here. Move this in the line. Just like that. So now we got our two holes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop here and uh, just do some cleanup and then we'll set up the uh, camera again to show us getting this back into the machine. All right, so we've got our two uh, holes drilled and um, um, after I drilled it, I realized that we actually have this arrow and it lines up uh, pretty dang close to the hole. So I imagine if uh, you didn't want to have to put the engine or put the piston in and put the cylinder in and major it and um, draw the lines like I did, uh, I believe that this arrow is probably centered exactly where you would need to do, um, drill the holes. Uh, but don't take my word for that. If you're doing this project, you know, take a look. Um, you may want to measure it out, but there's probably one little shortcut you could do. Um, I did take this in and uh, just cleaned it off. Uh, made sure that there was uh, no more aluminum debris or anything like that. Um, you want to make sure that the insides are nice and clean. And uh, the last thing I got to do here is just make sure that this is free of the uh, burrs. So I'm feeling right here and it feels like there's just a little bit of a lip. So I'm going to get either a file or some sandpaper real quick and just try to gently um, clean up these two little holes. Okay, so I have a small file here. And again, you got to be very careful, but you just want to make sure... there's no lip there now maybe some sandpaper would be better I'm not I'm not really sure probably a file isn't the best thing um, professionals might be screaming they have done this all their life and say no you're supposed to do it this way um, but anyways point being is you want to make sure that there's nothing sticking up there all right, so I think we're uh, ready to get this thing uh, back in the engine we do have to put on our piston rings so I'm gonna pause real quick grab those rings and then put those on and then we can uh, put this back in the um, in the engine and then put the cylinder on okay so the next thing we got to do is uh, put in our our piston rings here now uh, these rings they they look to be the same um, I believe the stock motor uh, the rings actually are different there's a top ring and a bottom ring uh, but these look to be the same um, they line up, it's probably really hard to see here, but there's there's a couple of little small pins here and here. So that's where you got to line it um, on the uh, piston here. So I got a little bit of oil. I'm just going to pre-oil these just a little bit. Okay. Now if there's a trick to this, I'm not sure what it is. I have never done this before. 
think you want to be very gentle. It's always the key. Maybe there's some sort of tool or or something. Now I guess I want this to go on the bottom one, so I'm gonna get a set of needle on those pliers to pull it down below. So we're gonna just gently grab this here. No, it's not gently. All right, so there's the first one. I could go it in here. Now we can line up. There's this hole down here. like that. And you got to make sure to line the ring right there with that. There's a pin there and then there's a pin there. So very important that these things don't move away from that that spot. Otherwise, you'll be in a world of hurt here. Of course, when we tighten this up, it'll compress nice and tight. All right, so we're gonna move this over to the engine now and uh, get it get it set up to put it all back together. Alright, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to put our uh, piston back into the engine. Now, um, in the cleanup process, I wipe all the oil um, off of this. So I'm going to put some more oil back onto it. Again, we're just using our, our two-stroke oil. Just going to put a nice clean coat on, on all that there. Alright. And then we're going to take our piston, line it up.
think actually I need to raise a crank. I lowered the crank to take it off. I'm going to raise it up a little bit just to make it a little easier to get to. Like that. Okay. Huh. So then I'll, the next thing that we got to do is we got to put the, um, the clip into here um, in order to make sure that the piston, um, I really got to look up the name of these things. I'll look it up. Uh, but anyways, we got to put the clip on, on this side here. So that's a bit of a chore. Again, I made the tool to help out with that. I'm going to... Um, Get that tool set up, get the cameras uh, repositioned so you guys can see, and hopefully not screw this thing up too badly. All right, so I got the camera uh, repositioned here, and uh, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put this little clip into this hole. And uh, I'm sure there's some experienced guys that, that could snap this in no problem. Um, I've never done this. I don't have the muscle memory for it, so. Again, I, I built this tool in the lathe um, to help a little bit, but what you gotta do is you gotta protect the hole or the sides of the hole. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of electrical tape around the sides real quick. Now I wiped off the oil that was kind of in this, in this area. Okay, about as good as we're going to get it. So the tool that I have, it, it looks like a bit of a punch here, and uh, it's got three layers. Um, this first size is designed to go inside um, the wrist pin. I believe that's what it's called, the wrist pin. Um, and then this size uh, diameter here, fits inside of that hole there. And uh, then there's this little nub right here that I, I just took a natural uh, bolt. I um, uh, drilled and uh, tapped this and then threaded this, this nut in here. Then I put on the lathe and spun it down so that it was below that surface there. All right, gonna try this a second time here. First time didn't go so successfully. Try and get this set up. Have to get this started. Just like that. It should be able to just push this the rest of the way in. My hands are a little oily, so this is a little bit harder. I should be able to take this screwdriver here. Gently push that in like that. Make sure it's seated. You can't really see it on the top. Just gonna make sure that she's seated all around. Feels pretty dang good. Now we can remove our tape and uh, a little slight marring, but I don't think that's too bad. All right, now we got our piston in. Make sure that our 
cylinder ring gaps are still aligned. Super critical. Now the next thing we got to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this paper now that I don't need it. Go ahead and let that sit down very carefully. Is that uh, we got to put in these two uh, little pins and uh, these pins just help to center the cylinder. And I looked on the manual because I only found two after taking this part. I took it apart a couple of weeks ago and uh, I'm like, well, where the heck are they? I thought there would be four, but there's actually only two and they go on this side. So this one goes here and this one goes here, just like that. All right, then we're gonna take our gasket. Make sure it's nice and clean. All right, and there is a front and back to the gasket. So the uh, the back is this shorter ring here, and this is the front. So we're gonna take this, go gently over our piston, line this up, and throw these holes on, just like this. Okay, it's nice and seated. Now, I'm going to take a pause here because uh, I'm running out of time actually, but one of the things you do want to do if you've not replaced your, um, uh, I guess this is your, it's the pulse line for uh, your fuel pump, uh, it's the vacuum line is what it is. Um, you want to replace this and this is a great opportunity to get in here and to tighten uh, this. Um, if you haven't replaced it, it'd be a great thing. So I'm going to pause here. I got to get some other things taken care of, and then we'll be back in the next video in order to uh, put the rest of this back together. Okay, folks. So uh, this is kind of the end of uh, this video and uh, got quite a bit done uh, today. So um, we got the piston back into the machine. Uh, we have the um, exhaust uh, um, holes, exhaust port holes, uh, they're drilled on the piston. We follow the instructions for that, put the cylinder rings in it, and then we also put in the clip for um, the knuckle. Uh, so in the next video, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the cylinder uh, back on. It's all ready to go, uh, nice and cleaned out. And uh, then we're going to just start torquing things down. So. Uh, made pretty good progress today and uh, pretty happy with that and uh, keep uh, tuned and uh, you'll see the next steps in the next video. With that, I'm Rob with Oddball RB and thanks for watching guys.